Hey guys, how's it going today? We're going to be doing the interior lights on my Audi A3. So we're going to be able to make your car look from this to this. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so the first one we're going to be doing is the center front one, which is right here. If you want to turn the light off like so, if you get your little prying plastic tool, which you can find on Amazon or eBay, so if you want to start from the back here and use your tool to pry it open. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of leverage from the front here. I'm just going to pull it a little bit and there we go. So these are my bulbs here, they're just little, basically the same thing but just LED strips on them. And when you take the old bulb out it's pretty simple you just push it to one side and then it will adjust and you can take the bulb straight out so there's one and two so we have two bulbs out okay hey guys um basically this is a couple of days after because it turns out that the bulbs that i had in the original video weren't the correct size so i've had to reorder them and now I've got the correct size here. It's basically just the same type of bulb, but it's, now it's got four LEDs on them. You want to just place your new bulbs in, and like, they just clip straight in like that. And then you want to get your other ones. There we go. Just make sure they're straight facing down. Make sure they work properly. Cool, I'm happy with that. And then we'll just put the cover back on. So it's just basically reverse where it, when it came off, so you want to put the back one on first. And then just push the front. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll start on the sun visor light. Alright guys, so to start with your driver's side sun visor light, you want to go to the left hand side of the light here, which will, there'll be a little indent for if you get your tool that I told you guys to get. You just want to put it on the side there, and it's just a clip that holds it in like that. So there you go. Now you can either unplug it or not unplug it, but basically there's this little metal shield here which comes off very simply, you just wiggle it off from this from that side there. From the left side facing down to you, and there you go, you can see your light there. Now to get the bulb out, you just want to pull one side of these clips back, and then while you're pulling, just give it a little wiggle and then just use your fingers to just pry it out like so and there's your bulb now these aren't the same size as your main interior light it's just a little bit smaller if you guys can see that so fortunately the original lights that i got for the main interior light was is the actual same size as the ones for the sun visor what i'll do is i'll put the millimeter size of the standard bulb right but here um basically they're all different i know the main interior lights were for 42 uh, anyway i'll put that back here anyway um and i'll also put that in the description of the actual sizes of the standard bulbs so you guys don't get the wrong ones so to put it back on put the new one you just want to do the same thing it's a little bit harder than the main light um as it's just a bit more of a tricky situation to get to And there we go. So you want to make sure that your bulb's nice and snug in there. You don't want it rattling around. So there we go. That's on. Now if you just want to test it. So once you guys know that the light works perfectly and works when it needs to, you want to put your plates back on. So you get your plate and the little two teeth which are here go towards the plug. And they just slot in there and then it clips on this side here like so. And it just clips in like that. 
So once you've done that, you just want to tuck the wire up inside the ceiling lining and then just put it to one side and then this side you can just push and it'll clip straight in like that. And double check, works perfectly. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do the passenger side. Here we go. Two hours later. So someone seems to have had this one out before and bent the clip a bit too much outwards. And there we go. There's the passenger one done. Now we have to move on to the back main interior lights. Okay guys, so now we're starting with the rear one. We'll be, first thing to do is use your little plying tool and just go around the whole light just to get all the clips out. And there we go, straight falls out. Now this one's just a bit simpler. As you can see, the bulbs are just here and here. So to get these out, you just want to use your pry tool to pry it against the bolt, there we go, that one's already come out of its clips, so there you go, there's your bulb straight away, and then you want to get your LED one, and it's just a sweet straight swap, push this in, okay, so once it's all seated in there, you just want to test the bulb, like so, there we go, so that's working perfectly, so again, just prying it out of its cage. And there you go, there's the bulb there. And then you want to get your new one. And just again slot it into place. There we go, so it just does click in like that. And there we go, perfect. That looks absolutely awesome. Okay guys, so once you've got your lights in, you just want to make sure that they are definitely not loose and they're not going to flicker or anything in the future because of the bad connections. So just make sure that it's definitely seated correctly because you don't want any rattling or any flashing issues in, in the future and then have to take all this out again. So you just want to turn the light off so you guys can see better. Now there's clips all around this light, so you just want to make sure that you can get them all seated in correctly. And then just go around the light, pushing each corner. And there we go. Perfect. Okay guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm also going to be doing a couple more videos on this car, I've got loads lined up for this car on video wise, so um, make sure you subscribe down the bottom, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.